In this video, we introduce our paper Cascaded Deep Molecular 3D Human Pose Estimation with Evolutionary Training Data. End-to-end -end deep learning has been widely adopted for molecular 3D human pose estimation. However, deep models are vulnerable to dataset bias. Inputs that are underrepresented in the training data, like the black sheep in this picture, can cause large generalization error. This problem also exists and is even more severe for 3D human pose estimation. Collecting accurate 3D labels is time-consuming and requires expensive motion capture devices. And collected dataset can bias towards constrained indoor appearance and selective daily actions. The two-stage architecture adopted by ResonWorks can help mitigate the appearance bias. The first stage locates human key points and the second stage leaves 2D key points to 3D pose. Since 2D annotations are easier to obtain, auxiliary outdoor images with 2D annotations can be utilized to augment the training data and improve the robustness of the first stage model. However, the geometric data bias caused by the 3D label collection process still negatively affects the second stage network. How to mitigate this problem is not studied in depth. In this work, we focus on this problem and wonder how to improve the generalization power of 2D to 3D networks, especially with scarce or limited 3D labels. Several recent works have considered training deep models when 3D labels are scarce. Multi-view consistency is used to introduce extra supervisory signal. Triangulation was performed to generate small 3D labels. Temporal information from video input was also exploited. However, multiple view setting and video input are assumed. In this study, we only use single view during training, but take a different pace when starting with scarce 3D labels. Instead of using fixed and limited 2D 3D pairs to train a lifting network, we assume the training data can evolve with the help of heuristic rules. Specifically, we first augment the 3D labels with synthetic ones and project them back to form novel 2D 3D pairs, which may not be well represented in the original training data. Then, the augmented training set is used to train an evolved network. To efficiently produce novel 3D labels with minimum human effort, we take advantage of a hierarchical representation of human where each 3D skeleton is represented by a kinematic tree. A set of 3D labels is viewed as a population of tree structure data. Under this representation, we propose a novel data generation approach by using several evolutionary operators to discover novel 3D skeletons in the data space. The crossover operator exchanges random subtrees of two data samples, whereas the mutation operator randomly modifies a skeleton name. Empirical results show that the evolved network after data augmentation can achieve lower generalization error compared with the version without evolution, despite the initial 3D labels are extremely scarce. We also achieve state-of-the-art results comparing with other works that only utilize a small amount of training data. Our proposed evolution process is efficient enough to generate millions of paired data to train a deep nifty network. Cross-dataset inference results show that the network can give good inference even for poses not included in the initial training set. Compared with other works that train with bias to these 3 d pairs, our network can give better inference for inputs not well represented in the original training data. We also provide tools that can be used to analyze data distribution of articulated objects and tools that can interactively annotate 2 d 3 d labels, which lead to a new dataset of unconstrained poses in the wild. Thank you.